guys are killing it in Cannes with Fruitvale. I feel like you guys are the real like buzzed about cast, buzzed about film. How's the experience been so far? It's been uh, mind blowing. Fruitvale won the Grand Jury Prize. Yes, man. That's awesome. Now it can, 10 minutes standing ovation. Insane. Are you living in a dream? I, I am. I've been at a loss for words literally the entire trip because it's my first time here. And um, I was so nervous about it, um, how people here would, would honestly just like yeah. receive it. And you know, you, you have people who hardly, who hardly speak English, you know, saying thank you, you know, you know, just thank, thank you for making this film and thank you for telling that story. And like the family's really proud, you know, everybody's like really you know, happy with what, what me and Ryan did and that's what me and Ryan really wanted to get across. And um, you know, Oscar lives, you know, lives on and it's, uh, that, that means a lot to me. Well, I think you know. I think the audience response has very much been a testament to to the acting, to the level of the performance, to how heartfelt it is. Do you have a particular ritual that you go through before you start filming? Um, I just like to do the homework. My, my ritual, or like, or how I prepared for this role was literally just to go up to the bay maybe a month before um, and be around his family, getting into the family, making them feel comfortable enough to actually like, you know, have this conversation and yeah. talk and just listen to whatever they had to say. You know, spending time with his mom, you know, and his, and his daughter, Tatiana, who's beautiful, and Sophina, you know, his girlfriend, and all of his, his, his best friends, you know, that knew him the best. That's the only way me and Ryan could really piece together that, that, that find that gray area. When situations like this happen, you know, a person's character gets polarized, you know, in two totally different directions. Either they get painted as this, this, this complete saint, this right. perfect person, or, you know, every bad thing he's ever done in, in his entire life, he becomes that, you know, this evil monster. And we just really wanted to find that, that gray area and kind of give him his, his, his humanity back the best way we knew how and, like, and be true, flaws and all. You got a really nice cast, I have to say. You guys have great chemistry. Octavia Spencer, Melanie oh, Diaz, man. Ryan, the director you mentioned, who's so young yet so brilliant. Yeah. You. <laughs> no, Pretty not. cool. That must have been a fun, even though it's quite a, you know, quite a dramatic subject matter. Mm -hmm. Must have been quite fun to hang out with you guys no. on set. Oh yeah, no, it, we we had a good time. You know, we were very much so a family. It was very a small small crew, very loose set. But when it was time to get down to business, everybody was like, you know, there and like dived in, di dived into their to, to their roles. Like Octavia is such a giving actress. I say that so much about her because you know, such an important thing about acting is like you have to you have to listen. You have to give some. You're you're in a scene with somebody. You have to give. You know, so 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 we're both winning. You know, and she's such a, a veteran at that. And Melanie, she we had so much chemistry. We had a chance to really hang out and get to know each other and really like build that relationship before we actually got on set. And then the thing with like Ryan is literally in the first five minutes of me meeting him, you know, after I read the script, I said, okay, let's do this. <laughs> no wow. brainer, okay. no BS. Yeah, no, I like that, no, straight, straight up. Forward. Yeah. I'm gonna get, this is what it is. Yeah. No, no secrets and, uh, and as an actor, you can appreciate that. And he's very passionate about what he does. So when you have a, a director and filmmaker and writer that has that vision and that passion, you just want to run through a brick wall for him. Like, whatever you want. All right, cool. I'm doing it. What is craftsmanship of film to you? Craftsmanship, I think, is um, I think it's the, the the level of commitment that you have for your work and the love that you have for it. That uh, it's almost like it's not work. I'm doing something I love to do, and, it's, and that's not often said. And I think it's uh, the level of class that you have. You know, I think a craftsmanship is somebody that takes their work very seriously and they, they hold themselves, they hold a, a very, very high standard. Cheers to that, Michael. Cheers. Cheers. I, I love it. That.